In this video, you are going to make the other master objects pages responsive. So I'll come to my site manager. I'll double click on my first uh, master object page. I'll go ahead and create my breakpoints. I'll create for 320 pixels. I'll create for 480 pixels. And I'll create for 768 pixels. So I'll go ahead and click on OK. Now when I switch to my 768 pixels breakpoint, first of all, I'm supposed to change the size of my clock here to 324 pixels and uh, that is 324 by 118 and I'm going to change this one to 476 uh, by 84 pixels and I'm going to change the position of my clock here to 443 pixels and I'm going to go ahead to reduce the height of my layer here I'm going to go ahead to reduce the width of it as well so the width is going to be 767 by 118 pixels now I'll switch to my 480 pixels breakpoint and I'm going to change the size of my clock. So the clock size is going to be 185 by 67 pixels and uh, the layer um, that is the image or the banner image is going to be 296 by 52 pixels. Now I'm going to change the position of this which is going to be 295 by 0 pixels and I'm going to reduce the height as well as the width of it. So that is it. Now I'm going to switch to my 320 pixels breakpoint. And this time around, I'm going to change the size of my banner image here to 313 by 55 pixels. Now I can't use this image here. So I'm just going to reduce the size, bring it to this position, and I'm going to hide it. Now I'm going to reduce the height and size, that is the size of my layer here to 320 by 67 pixels. So that is it for the the first master object page and I'm going to continue to the second master object page I'm going to create my breakpoint so for 320 pixels 480 pixels and I'm going to create for 768 pixels as well so I'll go ahead and click on OK now let me just come to 768 pixels and I think I'm supposed to change the size of my map here so I'm going to change the size of this to the new size that is 203 by 192 pixels I'm going to change the size of my layer. So I'm going to move this. Uh, let me just reduce the size of it. And let me change the size of this as well. And I'll continue to change the size of my layer. So the size is going to be 218 by 372 um, pixels. Let me move this up a little bit. So and um, hold on the shift key. Select this one and move it to the top a little bit. I'm going to select this layer. And move it to the left hand side now I'll switch to my 768 pixels breakpoint i'm um, sorry my 480 pixels breakpoint i'm going to change the size of my layer so the layer size is going to be 464 by 396 pixels and i'm going to change the size of the map google map here that is going to be 452 by 230 pixels and i'm going to change the position for it so the position is going to be 4 by 44 pixels and I'm going to change the size of my test below, change the size of it, as well as I'm going to change the position of it. So let me just click on it and change the position of it. Now I'm going to go ahead and change my um, size and position of my 320 pixels. So I'm going to first of all change the size of my layer. I think it's the same size. Let me just move this a little bit to the bottom. Let me move it to the top using arrow keys. Holding on the shift key, select this one, come to arrange and align it to the left hand side. I think it's okay at its position and its size. So I'm done with the second uh, master object. In the next video, we are going to take a look at how to make the rest of the pages responsive.